Hey, this is Morgan with Even Tech. Today in this video, we're going to take a look at this Ubiquiti Unify G3 Flex. This is a semi-newer series of cameras that they came out with. They're a little bit more affordable than a lot of the bullet cameras and dome cameras out there. Uh, they come in at like two-thirds of the price. These are somewhere around the $80 range where the others are more like $130 to $150. Unless you want to go all the way up to their 4K capable one that's like 400 and something dollars or something like that crazy. Um, this camera is very small compared to the other ones too. Uh, their other cameras are not big by any means, but this one is tiny. So, this Flex is capable of full 1080p video at 25 frames per second. So... The other cameras, for example, um, like the other G3, the Bullet series are 1080p, um, but they're capable of doing 60 frames per second, which is a little bit more standard. But again, when you're talking about surveillance video or something where you're just wanting to keep your stuff safe, it's probably not going to matter to you that much. So let's take a glance at what's in the box here, though. Comes with just some paperwork showing you the different mounts that are capable of using with it comes with a, a looks like a pole mount if I'm not mistaken it does come with a pole mount here or outdoor wall mounting it looks like that says um, you know in conjunction with this that's probably It looks like it goes along side of this yeah and actually clips in and off of that so so this is capable of using alongside of this and using it in that outdoor application that they were talking about um comes with some hardware screws and it looks like that's it let's slide that stuff out of the way so the camera itself again is very small like i said the this bottom comes out of it and you can run your cord in it there put this back on this has a rubberized coating on it so that it can sit on something like that without sliding a whole lot it pivots I'd say somewhere around 90 degrees I'm not exactly uh, for sure but I believe that's an almost a 90 degrees pivot and this here also angles up and down so that you can put it in lots of applications and get it optimized and looking in the direction that you you need it to look in. So that has a lot of functionality as far as once you get it in place, um, you know, you're capable of attaching it, having it up in the ceiling, but still be able to make these minor adjustments to it. I also went ahead and ordered and in ceiling mount here because most applications I think in a lot of cases as far as if you're indoors you probably want something like this and what this allows you to do is to to actually mount it in the ceiling as shown in the picture there you know imagine how how tiny that is if this is all that's sticking out of the ceiling you know that that's all you can see is just this little bit of this camera sticking out so looks like it comes apart it's actually magnetically held on there and I'll have to take the bottom out of it let's see it slides in there like that and then the cover looks like that slides out Slides on out, but I'm not really seeing where that there goes. That's interesting. Must just be missing something on that. Oh, I don't have it in there all the way. That's what the issue is. So I've, I got it slid partially off. I was about to say, I know I've had it in this before. 
but it should slide all the way up in there so that actually your flush part when it's on it um, is able to sit in that little groove there. The reason they made that magnetic is so that once you get it in place you can actually still pivot it and those magnets will let it slide and uh, and twist but not actually let the top of it fall off so for for the price uh, I've actually used this camera's video and compared it to um, the other ones and there's not a whole lot of difference as far as like I said again when you take into consideration what you're wanting it for you know you're not filming video uh, you know professionally for an event or something like that off of this you need to be able to see uh, clear enough what's going on and 25 frames per second is more than enough to see what's going on when the resolution is 1080p so for the money $80 is a pretty good price um, I believe that this particular amount was an extra $10 you can probably buy it in a multi-pack and save a little bit but overall this is a really nice looking camera it does have night vision again a little weaker than the other ones because it only has a couple of infrared emitters but still really nice day and night video extremely clear and would make a really nice addition or replacement for a current camera system somebody's current system so this is morgan with Even tech we'll see you again in the next video